What's up, guys? My name's Ariana. And I'm Maple. And today we are watching Barry Season 1, Episode 1. I honestly have never even heard of this show before. I've heard of it. I know Bill Hader's in it, and that's literally it. I like <gasps> Bill Hader. Oh my god, what? Seems to be very routine for him, though, so do we got a hitman for hire situation? Yeah, he's literally just... Like, no emotions. Like, he literally did the, like, wallet keys check before he walked out of the hotel. Just, like, hit the cabinets with a magic eraser, you know? I was literally thinking, like, why is this so dingy? <laughs> okay, so he used to be Marine. Marine. Mary. Mary. Wake up, buddy. Hey. How long have you been watching me sleep? Money from the Rochester job just cleared. Okay. One less bad guy in the world, nice work. Beautiful Barry. Oh, well, he was in bed, so it wasn't work exactly. Why did it take two days? Mm. Uh, I was doing a recon. To make it clean. Or relaying around the hotel room like it's so falls last month or St. Paul before that. Look at these extra expenses. They add up, Barry. Okay. All right. Oh, God, I worry about you, buddy. It is shit. He looks like the old Barry before he had a purpose. No, uh, no, I just, I think I'm just burning out. Mm. You know, maybe I need a break. Hey, you know what I think? What? I, th I think what we should do is shake things up a little bit. Another. Oh, he's in dodgeball. No, it didn't rust. Yes, he is. What do you say to a little trip out to sunny Los Angeles? He came here to give me an assignment? It's a Chechen mob. A guy by the name Goran Pizar needs an outsider to handle something embarrassing. It's great money. The plane for LA leaves in four hours. I will have a car waiting for you at the Ontario airport. In Ontario? Wait, isn't that like a two-hour drive? Yeah, just you know, fly in LAX. You gotta cover our tracks, right? So, very make your mark, chapter one. So, very much a hitman for a hire. Yeah. Flying to California, buddy. Hey, my guy said he left the car in space 408. I told him you were my best guy, so he should hook you up. He said the car is dope. So, oh. Enjoy that, buddy. <laughs> When Gorn, the don't be afraid to sell yourself. Remember that liquor distributor in Canton you stabbed in the nut? What? I think Gorn's the kind of man who would find something like that intriguing. Hey, man, you must be Batty. I'm no cocaine. Thrust of life was good, no? So we're gonna do this outside if that's okay. His daughter has some friends over, huh? They're watching their Jesse. <laughs> oh, perfect. <laughs> but we've made a lot of progress. <gasps> you see who it is? Arbors, Identity <gasps> theft, meth, 99 cent stores. Business has been going great. This is Ryan Madison. He's a physical trainer in Silver Lake. He works with Goron's wife, Oksana. <laughs> They've been training together for 15 minutes. Hmm? Yeah? Over the past <laughs> few weeks, these sessions became more frequent. Goron asked me to follow her, and I became aware that they How were taking so up smooth? a holiday uh, in Studio City. Possibly alopecia. Not a lipstick camera. Similar to this one in the room. And got this. Oh. Fantastic. Turn it off. Turn it off! I wanted to give him the whole... He gets it. Why show food? No, 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 ho, Hank. I'm dead. Not... So you guys want him gone? <laughs> yes. yes. <laughs> we pay you. Up. No, you don't pay me anything. Fuchs takes care of the money. I just need his name. An address, and it'll be done in a couple of days. Now, there's a lot of ways I can uh, do this for you. Um, is I could stab him in the nut. What? Or not. <laughs> Forget about it. Who would want this? For you to get, like, revenge. You again? Yeah. No, because I... being shot is very painful. Have you ever been shot? <laughs> I have. It's, like, crazy painful. Anything is better than stabbing <laughs> guy in nuts. I'll, I'll shoot him. I'll shoot him. I'll shoot him. Go on. I think he's going to shoot him. Well, this is just so know. casual. I'm so confused. I know. It's almost kind of comedic it's, as well, yeah. like, somehow. Like, like this is his dead beat. Like, this is dead-end job. That's how it feels. Like, he gets it every day and is, like, going to his terrible 9 to 5. Just another day. I mean, they're in L.A. Yeah, maybe he's doing an audition. Or an acting class. Go 
Tony lady, you fucking asshole. You mother. Fuck you too, don't you call me lady. Fuck you too. Who are you? What are you doing out here? Shit. I lost my place. He's ready for you. Or maybe it is an audition. I don't know. It seemed too casual to be like an open audition. Strong, strong stuff you got here. Who the f are you? Who the f do you think you are? Please, lady, why don't you just try to calm down? Bullsh Bullsh huh? It's full sound. Right before I was about to go on, I was outside going. Excuse me, I don't get it. Ooh. Even your excuses. Coming are in. False. You're Coming in hard. Stinking up my stage, babe. What the f do you want? Little Sally Reed from Joplin, Missouri. What do you want? To be an actress? Again, I don't believe you. It's all I ever wanted in the whole world. Oh, really? Except you don't think you're going to make it, do you? I mean, that's what you told me. Takes me out for a cup of coffee after class, starts to cry. All of a sudden, she said, I'm not going to make it. I'm telling you, I was embarrassed. Spending her money, she doesn't have any talent whatsoever. This chick shouldn't even be in this class. Oh I cannot believe. God. That is not fair, Gene. Don't think. Just finish the scene. Oh, he's a genius. <laughs> I come in here. I give these things to you. You, you check. I am sick. I have sickness all around me, and you ask me my life. Definitely okay, bad. get into yes. it, girl. And then I'm asked questions. What's wrong? Suck my dick. And see. Yeah, that was pretty good. That was good. That was good. So definitely an acting class. <laughs> You know that I had to do that, right? Mm. You know I mm. love you. That was something. Now it's true beautiful. emotion. Just, that's what this class is about. Life. I want you to create a life right here on this stage. I mean, we're not here studying some f TV commercial acting. That's not why you came to uh, LA, is it? Let's give her another round. She deserves the praise. Mm. Are you new to this class? I haven't seen you mm. Ryan. Ryan Madison, listen, I was supposed to put up a scene with Matt Kennedy, but he got a catering gig. So could you help me out? Ryan, you're up. Do, does he like but I'm gonna do the scene find his purpose as he's a hitman trying to be an actor? Let's grab some egg roll. We got everything here from uh, <laughs> Me and you ate before you came on down here all full, is that it? Nah, I don't think so. Now, I know I'm pretty, but I ain't as pretty as a couple of titties. It's in that envelope, is for my peace of mind. My peace of mind is worth that much, not one penny more, not one penny more. It's empty. <laughs> I can't. And see. He, not him saying end scene. Oh my God. With confidence. With confidence. I'm, I don't, I don't. Like, he didn't break character for, for the end scene. Like he. And, oh my God, he's like. He did terrible, but he's he's living his best life. Who are you? <laughs> Barry. Barry what? Berkman. Well, Barry Berkman, you just used up your one free audit class. You want to be here on Thursday, you better prepare a monologue. You understand? Hey, hey, Barry. Hey, I just, I wanted to say sorry for snapping at you back there. I, I, I didn't realize you were an actor. Oh, I'm, I'm not an actor. What are you going to do for your monologue? I did the scene from the blind side, you know, the one where Sandy Bullock interrupts football practice. This team is your family. You protect his blind side. Do you remember that at one or another? Ooh, Oscar? that hits differently today. Let's go brainstorm. A bunch of us are going to residuals. What's residuals? Bro, you're getting way too enmeshed. What if you did Robert Duvall from Tender Mercies? Oh, yes, yes. The one where he's Oh, I love her. I didn't know she was in this. Darcy, uh, C. She's in, have you ever seen The Good Place? Well, The Dark Heart. She is awesome in it. Did you just move here, Barry? Yeah. From Cleveland. Huh. Oh, Ooh, wow. cool. Welcome to Los Angeles. <laughs> oh, are you are you from LA? Nobody's actually from LA. Oh, very. I am though. Remember? He's <laughs> from uh Denver. Denver. And Antonio here, he's from um Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico. Yeah, he just booked CSI. Mm. My girlfriend dates a manager at the state. I just so could not be in LA. Lie and say you do. I can get you a job there. Oh, I have a job. Sales. Auto parts. Oh my God, look at Lydia. She's out there all by herself. Okay, Lydia. Come on, let's go dance. Okay. Oh, I, I don't dance. Full shit. Yeah, you do. I can tell you want to dance. No pressure. You'll know where to find me. 
Oh, maybe he just likes her, maybe not necessarily acting. Gary Portman. You gotta change that name. I changed my name. My name's Richard Krempf. Ryan Madison. Sounds way cooler. Barry Berkman. It's too plain. Sound like an accountant or something. You want something people can remember. I got the perfect stage name for you. What? Barry. Block. I don't get it. Yeah, because when I look at you, I think of a block. Hey, Barry. Hey. Kind of hey. rude. Can you drive him home? He has like seven DUIs. <laughs> sure. Good night. Looking forward to your monologue. What? You got to take this class, bro. I don't, I don't think I can. It's not that hard. Here. Look, it's all in the book. This is <laughs> your mind. Gene's life. teachings changed my life. So you, you go home, you Google great monologues, you choose one, and I'll help you prepare before tomorrow. You're gonna help me with my audition? Why? You're my scene partner, bro. You were so chill. You just let me do my thing. You're a very generous performer. <laughs> I am? <laughs> totally. Oh, God. Oh. What the fuck? Sin. Very black. What okay. the? Okay. <laughs> they were hugging. <laughs> <laughs> He's funny. I don't know why. He's just kind of like. Hey, Fuchs. Hey, buddy. I'm outside. Open up. <laughs> You're here? No, oh, Hank. Guy wakes me up last night, says you and your Mark were hugging. Something really, really cool happened, okay? I followed Ryan yesterday, and uh, he went to this theater to take an acting class, and I ended up doing a scene with him from True Romance. Oh, I've never seen True, True Romance. Romance is a movie. Way. Point is, I was really good. And uh, afterwards, I, I hung out with them. Ben. Really good. The acting class, and they're super nice. The whole class, including the guy you were supposed to burn? Ryan, Madison, yeah. No, he's a great dude. And uh, I don't know, they just made me feel really good about myself, you know? And uh, you know how you and I talk all the time about my purpose? You think acting could be your purpose? I don't know. I just, I, I don't, I, I just feel really motivated right now or something. Like, but, it made me feel really good. Okay, but what about what we do together, Barry? Well, you know, they told me a very small percentage of actors actually make a living acting. I figured, you know, I do night hits or oh, something. Oh, 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 oh. Acting is uh, it's a very face forward type of job. It... Okay. It's a direct conflict being someone who anonymously kills people. You want to have a hobby You're not or wrong. something? You could take up painting. Oh. Never got in the way of what they were doing. These are professional actors and they're the real deal and they say I got something. No, I get, I get it, I get it, but I think you got to think this thing through. I mean, you want to you wanna go out there and try to burn a guy and have him say, hey, there's the guy from the chicken commercial. I don't know if I do commercials. Barry, when you decided to do this for a living, you closed the door and being able to do anything else. You're a killer, Barry. You kill the bad guys. Yeah, but this Ryan guy wasn't a bad guy. He no, let no, me no. a book. He's... Stop thinking. Kill Ryan. These Chechens are the scariest people I've ever worked with, and they're talking about taking you off this job. I feel like this is being real messy. God, I'm sorry, but I don't feel like... Dying over some wannabe actor. This is what you do. This is all you do. Dang. Do you understand? Yeah. Also, I'm just, I feel like they're getting paid a lot more for these certain things. Like, why are you living like this? Hey, Mr. Kusno. You weren't in class today. Yeah, no, I know. Brian was very upset. <laughs> yeah, no, I, uh, I gotta leave town. I'm so sorry to hear that. Hey, Mr. Kusno, uh, I was wondering, um, do you think I was good enough to be in your class? No, Barry, I don't. <laughs> what you did was dog <laughs> Dumb acting, I call it. Do you know why? Because acting is truth, and I saw no truth. You go back to whatever nook of the world you call home and you do whatever it is you're good at because this is not it. Dang. You want to know what I'm good at? I'm good at killing people. Yeah, when I got back from Afghanistan, I uh, mm -hmm. was really depressed. You know, like I didn't leave my house for months and uh, 
this friend of my dad's, he's uh, it's like an uncle to me, he, uh, he helped me out and he gave me a purpose. He told me that, that what I was good at over there could be useful here. And uh, these people I take out, like they're, they're bad people. But lately, you know, I've, like, I'm not sleeping and uh, that depressed feeling's back, you know? Like I know there's more to me than that. Maybe, I don't know. If it is not, it is all I'm good at. Anyway, forget it. What's that from? <laughs> Are you telling me that was an improvisation? Huh. Interesting. The story's nonsense, but there's something to work with. My class is not cheap. Well, it's not a problem. You pay in cash? Yeah. You pay in advance? I can do that. Next class tomorrow, 2 p.m. Okay. What's your last name again? Block. <laughs> Very Block. Gene M. Cousinau. I look forward to this journey. Great. Watch your toes. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh my God. Like. This is not what I expected no, at all I, in I, any way, shape, or form. Like, I've only ever seen Bill Hader do, like, very comedy facing things. So he's gonna kill him, though. Here's the thing if he doesn't kill him, he can't stay in LA. I would think not. They said, like, they're scary. They're the most dangerous. He's like, they're the most dangerous or the scariest people I've ever worked with. So. Oh. Snap. Someone already did it. What's going on, guys? No, 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 no. Hey. Oh, crap. Pull that gun at me, man. Don't pull that gun at me. He's just so calm. Okay, so this is gonna... Well, that's a camera, so... Hopefully... Well... <sighs> he's already got so much turmoil. Like he's gonna have the revenge of the mob. He's gonna he's caught on camera, so the police are gonna be looking for him. And he's trying to get into acting. This is this is a lot. What's going on over there? Do you have whiskey? No. We have herbal tea. What do you got there? Oh, I've got an audition tomorrow. I'm an actor. So am I. <laughs> Everybody's an actor. <laughs> cool. How cute. I'm excited. He looks happier here. So, yeah. Oh, he directed too? Interesting. And he wrote it. All right. I don't know what I was expecting. Nothing was explained to me before watching this. So everything yeah, is very all. new and original to, to me right now. Um, but have you seen Bill Hader and other things? Like, have you ever seen his SNL skits at all or anything like that? No, or? I don't watch SNL. But you, you've never seen him in anything either? No. Okay. So he does a lot of like comedy. Like he like started on SNL. So he that's so I was expecting it to be a little bit more like comedic. Yeah. Like a rom. Like it was funny. Like there were parts that was funny, and yeah, it makes sense because you're like, I don't know why it's funny, but it's like you said, like, like I don't know why he's funny, but he's funny. To it. Yeah, it's like the dark. Yeah. Um. But yeah, I expected to be more heavy on that, and that's not what this is at all. <laughs> No. I'm intrigued. Damn. Yeah, they, that camera's going to cause some issues, I'm sure. Yeah. Got some high stakes already. Yeah. That's, I'm, I I just like, wh where does this go? Does he break? <laughs> like, he's a hitman turned actor? Yeah, and what does he say to the cop? I mean, because they're going to be like, oh, this is, oh, I don't know. Like, that was a short, that episode was definitely on the shorter end, and it was so fast. Yeah. You know, it looks like most of them are only like 30 minutes long about. So. Oh, wow. Okay. All right. Well, well, into the next one. Into the next one. All right, I, guys. I, well, how do you feel so far? Are you intrigued? Are you interested? Yeah. You, I mean, yeah. Like, I just don't understand where this is going. Fair. Like, he's killing people? I don't know. Yeah. I'll have, I just have, this is one of the, this is one of those things where I'm just going to have to like watch multiple to then I feel like I'll be like, oh, I see what's going on. Like, okay. Then, I don't know. You I just to, don't, I don't you understand. in general don't know how to feel right now. Yeah, I don't know. I don't understand his personality really. Like, I'm like, 
is he just getting distracted with each job? Because remember, he was like on the phone. He's like, well, why did that take two days? Yeah. Is it because of this? And then you went and did this. And then did you sit in the room? And like, what was he around? So like, is he like on a job again where he's like easily distracted? Mm -hmm. Like, I don't know. So I guess we'll find out. Well, he said he was depressed. He's like, I the depressed feelings back too. So, yeah. I mean. So, eh. all right. Well. I'm excited. Yep. We'll just jump on into episode two. So we'll see you on the next one, guys. Bye.